Welcome to day three in Austin. Plans for today. Um, we got a pretty late start yesterday, so today I think we're gonna try to get out the door a little bit earlier, go find some breakfast. I'm drinking coffee right now, but probably need to find um, maybe a better coffee spot to go to with, with a good brekkie. It's pretty chilly out and a little bit cloudy. I think it's supposed to get a little bit sunnier later, so we'll see if the weather holds out. Um, if it stays this way all day today, we'll maybe kind of fly by the seat of our pants and see what we want to do. You know, that's the that's the thing we've been kind of doing over the last couple of days here in Austin is not really having a, like a solid plan, which has been, I think, kind of a welcome change for us because it frees us up to kind of do whatever we want and really just kind of go with the flow and say, oh, this looks cool and head, you know, in a different direction than we had planned originally. You know, it's one of the things about traveling that I, I think... I'm coming to enjoy a little bit more, right? Is that not having a plan and just allowing the experience of a city to kind of dictate where it is that you want to go um, and what you want to do. So kind of letting the mood in the moment dictate things more than a plan or a schedule. All right, I'm going to finish my coffee, go start getting ready and get prepped for the day. I will see you guys in a few minutes.
It's like a Disney World of meats. You think you're almost there, but then the line switchbacks on you. How's the first bite? Mm. <laughs> so good. That is like the best rib I've ever had. Alright, we just got done eating at the barbecue. <laughs> what? Literally a pinata. It's a pinata <laughs> store. So we just got done eating at La Barbecue, and far and away, I think that was the single best barbecue meal I've ever had anywhere. What did you think? Worth the two hour wait. Yeah, we did have to wait for like two and a half hours, but it no, was it awesome. Two. It was two hours? Yeah. Okay. It was awesome. Ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. I love you. I love you too. Nice. All right, so we are back from today's adventures. So, I figured while we eat these donuts, since it is our last night in Austin, it might be kind of fun to talk about our experience here for the last couple of days. I'm gonna start getting into my donuts and I'm gonna talk to the wifey over here. This is Carla, you guys have seen her in a bunch of the different vlogs, but you've never actually been able to talk to her very much. So, I'm gonna do this rapid fire, Q&A style. We gotta get donuts first. All right, so this trip has been a lot of eating. This is the Memphis Mafia, this is a fritter. And I think there's like chocolate and peanut butter and there's bananas in it and stuff. It's supposed to be uh, like an Elvis donut. So, I'm hopefully very... I don't die of a heart attack on the crapper like Elvis did after I eat this thing. First question, what was your favorite part of our trip so far? The um, Hope Outdoor Gallery. The Hope Outdoor Gallery, so the graffiti park? Mm-hmm. So is that like your favorite thing of everything in the trip? Or just like our favorite, like a favorite place we went? Uh, I thought it was the most interesting. It was really cool. I agree. I thought it was super unique that there's not a lot of cities that could really sustain or support something like that. So the fact that they have a giant outdoor graffiti park and that the entire city is like covered in artwork really kind of speaks to the culture and the attitude they have here in Austin. For sure, it does not feel like a city in Texas. And what was cool too is if you look it up, you'll see pictures of the graffiti park. But when you're there, those drawings are no longer there. So it's continuously changing. So if you were to go back to the park at another time, you would probably see brand new artwork. So now we've gotten through favorite thing. What was your least favorite thing about our trip so far? Is there anything like you didn't like or that you thought was like less than what you expected or like didn't meet your expectations? Or has everything been good so far? Everything's been fun. I guess I thought there were, would be a little bit like, there weren't like a ton of landmarks. There were like landmark murals to find. Mm -hmm. So I guess I thought, but What's really cool is that just the general part of Austin, when you're traveling around, almost every building has some kind of a like historic landmark plaque on it where you learn about what the building was from the beginning and how it's kind of changed over time, which is really cool. Cause in Charlotte, there isn't a lot of old, it's a lot of just new. So it's cool how they like repurposed a lot of the stuff in the city. All right, third question. Best meal? Um, probably today. A little barbecue. That little barbecue? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would agree. It was definitely worth the wait. Yeah, so, kind of like, if you guys have ever heard of like Franklin's Barbecue, which is probably the most famous barbecue place in Austin, Love Barbecue is another really, really popular barbecue place. And we actually waited in line for just about two hours today. And it's pretty rapid fire. Like they are cruising through 
their customers. They're really just chopping meat, making sandwiches, and you still wait in line for two hours. I wasn't really sure that this spot was gonna live up to the hype. Uh, it was definitely pretty hyped. Uh, you know, all the Yelp reviews were super high. It's been on a bunch of different TV shows. And sometimes those places can get overhyped and they get kind of, they're a little bit disappointing. But I have to say, I think that, I think La Barbecue was probably the single best barbecue meal I've ever had. Um, and everything was good. It wasn't like they just had really good brisket or just had really good ribs. Like both of them were incredible. The sides were excellent. You know, all of it was just really, really high quality. The regular sausage was so good. Yeah, the regular sausage was really good. And the potato salad was awesome. And they had amazing pickles. I love pickles and these are so good. And you can tell we like donuts because we've been to Voodoo Donuts yeah. twice. We've been to Voodoo twice. And we went oh. to Gordo's Donuts, which was absolutely amazing. Um, I wasn't sure about it at first, just because it's not the type of donut that I'm used to, especially growing mm -hmm. up in New York. Like we're more used to more of like the cake style donut. And this donut had kind of a crispy outside, but then a doughy center, yeah. which it's made a it yeast delicious. Donut. It's, so it's a yeast donut, but mm -hmm. they like deep fry it until it's really crispy on the outside. And then they layer a bunch of toppings on top. Um, I would say, so for variety, I think for sheer variety and like novelty, I like Voodoo better, but I would say the quality of Gordo's Donuts I thought were better. Only, only because the Gordo's Donut comes out like warm and like the toppings are warm and so you kind of get like everything all melted together and Well, it's because like they that. take the donut that's already made and put it in the fryer. Yeah. So that's what made it warm. Yeah, but I like that. I like having a warm donut. And mine was really good. It came with, it was like, it's like Nutella some and va strawberry Valentine and one. And it had Nutella, cinnamon, and fresh strawberries. So it was like a cinnamon sugar donut on steroids. It was absolutely delicious. I definitely think it'd be fun to come back when it's a little warmer. Um, I would love to come back for um, Austin City Limits because yeah. we're music people and that just sounds like every year the lineup looks amazing. So I think that would be a really cool trip to come with a bunch of people and check yep. it out. We gotta plan another trip to Austin. All right, so I think that's gonna wrap up the Q&A. We're just about done with our donuts. I've got another one to get through, but thank you guys for hanging out. I hope you enjoyed this Q&A and kind of this wrapping up the vlog this way. I think I might do this again, if you agree to, to being back on video. But I appreciate you guys watching. I hope you enjoyed our adventures in Austin. Tomorrow morning we have to hop a flight and we are going to Dallas. Frank so the Tank! We're gonna go see Frank the Tank, AKA my father-in-law, <laughs> and spend some time in another part of Texas. Thank you all for watching. If you liked the video, hit the thumbs up button. If you loved it, consider subscribing. We appreciate you watching. We will see you on the next leg of our trip. Anything you wanna add? Bye! Peace.